For more than 20 years, experienced waterproofing professionals have chosen the Bituthene waterproofing system manufactured by W.R. Grayson Company. The Bituthene system has been used on many buildings worldwide to protect structures from the devastating effects of water. Bituthene can be used to waterproof foundation walls, plazas and parking decks, tunnels and earth sheltered structures. But its effectiveness depends on you. With proper installation, the Bituthene system will do its job. The workhorse of the system is the bituthene membrane, a cold-applied self-adhesive sheet. Bituthene comes in easy-to-handle rolls packaged in sturdy cartons. Bituthene membranes are specifically designed for architectural or highway use. These membranes incorporate specially engineered waterproofing compounds and films. Bituthene adheres tenaciously to the substrate to provide maximum waterproofing protection. The bituthene system also includes specially formulated primers which prepare the substrate to receive the bituthene membrane. An integral part of the system is bituthene liquid membrane. It is used in detail areas such as corners, protrusions, and hard to reach areas. Bituthene mastic is used to seal terminations, patches, and T-joints. Bituthene protection systems are available. They include expanded polystyrene and adhesive for vertical applications and a tough hardboard for horizontal applications. In addition, several products are available to promote drainage. They include hydroduct drainage composites and plaza deck pedestals. Bitchu stick, a unique two-sided tape, is used to hold hydroduct in place. All of these products are appropriately labeled for your safety. Please read the labels and precautions before use. Material safety data sheets are available. The first step in proper planning is the pre-job conference. A pre-job conference should be held before the work starts. It should include the designer, general contractor, waterproofing contractor, and grace representative. At this meeting, all parties should review the plans, specifications, and general scope of the job. After the meeting, walk the job site. Inspect the areas to be waterproofed. Make sure the substrate is smooth. Rough areas should be ground smooth or patched with bituthene liquid membrane or mortar. Examine the detail areas such as penetrations and protrusions, drains and corners, and other areas which require special treatment with bituthene liquid membrane or bituthene strips. Examine vertical surfaces with the same care. Identify any defects which require treatment. Make sure the area is accessible and well ventilated. After you review the job, make sure you have the necessary bituthene products and tools in stock. If you are missing any items, contact your local bituthene distributor. Only a few tools are needed when working with bituthene. Paint rollers and extensions to apply primer, utility knives and blades to cut membrane, plywood to provide a cutting surface, a drill and paddle to mix liquid membrane, trowels to apply liquid membrane and mastic, a caulking gun to apply mastic, a heavy roller and hand roller for the membrane, gloves and respirators for protection. Some other useful supplies are a broom to sweep the substrate, mineral spirits and rags to clean tools, a screwdriver to open pails, and a chalk line and tape measure to mark guidelines. A productive waterproofing crew consists of at least three people. Two people are needed to set rolls of membrane and a third crew member to handle other chores. Once the crew arrives on the job, they should unload their materials and place them in a centrally located area for easy access. The area to be waterproofed should be swept clean to remove all dirt, dust and debris. We are now ready to install the bituthene waterproofing system. The first step is to apply bituthene primer. Apply the primer by roller or spray. Be careful not to allow puddles to form. Puddles take longer to dry and can delay work. Let the primer dry for one hour or until tack free. Prime only as much area as can be covered with bituthene membrane that day. Areas not covered that day will have to be reprimed. 
pre-treat all construction joints and cracks greater than 1 16th of an inch with a 9 inch strip of bituthene. Pre-treat all outside corners with a 12 inch strip of bituthene centered over the corner. Pre-treat all drains with a piece of bituthene membrane which extends 6 inches in all directions from the drain. Now, let's install the bituthene membrane on the deck. First, locate the low point of the deck so all laps shed water. In this case, we're starting at the drain. Snap a line to provide a reference to line up the first roll. In this case, we want to center the roll over the drain, so snap the line 18 inches from the center of the drain. Most crews like to work in teams of two when setting rolls of bituthene. Many teams have their own techniques. Let's look at a couple of the more popular techniques. First, roll out about 15 to 20 feet of membrane. Align it with the chalk line. If necessary, trim the release paper to help with alignment. Score the release paper on the roll. Be careful not to cut through the membrane. A sharp knife is essential. Pull the release paper from the roll, exposing the adhesive side of the bituthene. Continue to pull the release paper as well as the roll. In the meantime, your partner can loosely back roll the beginning of the roll and then pull off the release paper. Continue to pull the release paper until the entire roll is in place. If the roll goes offline, cut the roll and start again. Roll the membrane immediately with a heavy linoleum roller or water-filled garden roller to maximize adhesion to the deck. Cover the roller with a resilient material to maximize contact. Trim the membrane around the drain opening. Another common technique is to roll out about five or six feet of the membrane and line it up. Hold the roll firmly to the substrate and peel back four or five feet of release paper. Cut the release paper and discard it. Place the membrane, adhesive side down, onto the deck, taking care to maintain alignment. Press the membrane in place. Grasp the exposed release paper and pull it free from the roll. Roll the membrane immediately. Line up succeeding rolls to the two and a half inch lap lines which are printed on each side of the membrane. End laps should be staggered and overlapped at least two and a half inches. Be sure to roll the laps. Continue setting rolls until the primed area is covered. Apply mastic at all terminations and at T-joints at the end of each workday. A T-joint is formed when a side lap crosses over an end lap. Inspect the completed membrane for tears, punctures, misaligned laps, etc. Patch these areas with bituthene membrane. The patch should extend six inches in all directions from the defect. Roll the patch in place and seal with bituthene mastic. Install asphaltic hardboard as soon as possible to protect the membrane from construction traffic. Bituthene liquid membrane is used for detailing. It is a two-component trowel-grade material which is mechanically mixed prior to use. It has a pot life of an hour and a half. Inside corners require a three-quarter inch fillet of bituthene liquid membrane or mortar to break the 90 degree angle. This allows the bituthene membrane to conform tightly to the corner. Most contractors prefer to use bituthene liquid membrane since it can be immediately covered by bituthene membrane. If liquid membrane is used, you have the option of completing the detail by extending the liquid up the wall and onto the deck. This eliminates the need for bituthene membrane in the corner. Bituthene liquid membrane is also used to waterproof around various protrusions. It is very effective in areas where it would be difficult to work with bituthene membrane. Once the details are complete, wait a day and flood test for 24 hours. For a vertical application, the typical crew size is three. Two people are needed to set rolls and a third to handle other chores. As in the horizontal application, sweep the area to be waterproofed. Pay particular attention to the footing area. You should first treat the wall to footing junction with bituthene liquid membrane. Use the liquid membrane to form a fillet and extend it six inches up the wall and six inches onto the footing. Apply bituthene primer on the wall and allow it to dry for an hour. Some vertical primers remain tacky when dry. Pre-treat all outside corners, vertical inside corners, cracks and joints with bituthene membrane strips. 
Vitruthene membrane can be applied to vertical walls in lengths up to 8 feet. It is easiest to pre-cut the desired lengths just before application. To install the bitruthene, peel back the paper a couple of feet and line it up. Press the membrane into place. Remove the remaining paper and press into place with heavy hand pressure. Alignment of the neck sheet is easy because of the printed lap lines. As before, pull off the release paper and work it down the wall. Use a hand roller on the laps and press in the top termination with the handle of a knife to assure a proper seal. At the end of the day, seal all terminations with mastic. Inspect the membrane and patch deficiencies. Protect the membrane with lightweight bitruthene protection board adhered with protection board adhesive. If drainage is required, install Hydroduct 2 drainage composite directly on the bitruthene. Hydroduct 2 provides excellent drainage and also serves as a protection course. It is easily installed with bitu stick. Backfill as soon as possible. With Grace's Bitruthene waterproofing system, you can provide a high performance system which you and the building owner can rely on. By following these recommendations, your next waterproofing application will be easier, faster, and more effective. Grace Construction Products. We're making your workday more productive with products you can count on.